Hey guys, I'm Dov, and today I'm back with more Total War Warhammer 2 online action. Today we're back with the Vampire Counts once again, this time going to be taking on the High Elves, so let's get to the armies here. Pretty similar army to last time, we've got Manfred von Karstein leading the way here on a horse. I did not forget to bring the Sword of Unholy Power this time, so we are going to get the awesome uh, Winds of Magic regeneration that it gives. We've got two units of Blood Knights. For the main army, front line of zombies with some skeleton spears, two units of grave guard. We've got the obligatory black coach to mess up the back line. And uh, man, that sure looks like Manfred's face on the side there, doesn't it? it? Seems kind of pretentious to put your own face on the side of a black coach, but whatever. We've also got a couple units of fell bats, <clears throat> mortis engine, and an unholy lodestone corpse cart. For my opponent, with the High Elves, he's got Heralds of the Wind, very good choice here. The Fireborn, also a solid choice. Teclis, uh, I believe he's on foot, actually. Yep, he looks like he's carrying Flaming Sword of Ruin, Flock of Doom, and Regrowth. We've got some Swordmasters of Hoeth up here. Front line of Spearmen, three units of White Lions, Lothar Sea Guard, and the Ever Queen's Court Guard. So without further ado, let's get the battle underway. And, uh... <clears throat> Just as a note for my opponent about his deployment, I would definitely recommend that rather than deploying on the low ground over here, that he deploy up on the high ground, like right across this area right here would be really solid, um, because it would put him more or less on equal footing with my forces, and I would have to advance through this low ground and potentially come an attack uphill, whereas in on this area here, uh, he's mostly in the low ground here, so I can attack more or less downhill. Um, I mean, obviously, on this slope here, it's going to be a little bit of a wash, but, uh, yeah, <clears throat> you can see uh, my opponent's maneuvering his uh, Herald of the Wind very well. I would probably recommend taking him off fire at will, but he's doing some nice cycle charging, just trying to clear out some chaff. I mean, obviously, zombies are incredibly cheap and meant to take this type of damage, but... Uh, you know, I definitely want to try and clear them out as quickly as possible, although wasting the ammunition of these guys is probably not the best idea. You definitely want to save that for shooting at these other, uh, more expensive magic chariots here, but you can see, a uh, great cinematic shot, Blood Knights running, riding down from the mountains here. We've got the, uh, the Black Coach riding across as well, and just the Vampire Forces in general advancing across the low ground here. Uh, the Heralds of the Wind looks like they're uh, using some of their shots to fire at the Felbats, who had kind of zoned them out a little bit there. Honestly, they could just stand and fight the Felbats, no problem, but it uh, would take them some time to take down the Bats, as Bats do have very good melee defense. Bats and Carrion both uh, have similar stats with uh, 44 melee defense. I don't know if Carrion are exactly the same, but the, the Bats are going to come down start to tie down the Ever Queen's court guards here, make sure we don't get shot up too much as we advance by the flaming uh, armor piercing damage that the Ever Queen's court guards do. The uh, Dragon Prince is going to come over and respond here. It doesn't look like they actually got a very good charge off there, but uh, <clears throat> this is fine by me. I mean, these bats are meant to just tie things down and then die uh, and protect the Mortis Engine from being shot at too much, which uh, it is getting shot at by the one unit of Lothar Sea Guard, but a massive side charge coming down. Blood Knights uh, black Coach just cutting through these Sword Masters of Poeth who would come up and around this side. Then the uh, Black Coach is just going to be scything through the back line here. And man, I absolutely love the Black Coach right now. It's probably one of my new favorite units. It's an excellent chariot, has amazing mass, and just does a ton of impact damage. You can see my opponent's going to use the Fireborn to try and respond here, which is exactly what he should do. Uh, however, that's going to leave them... Uh, vulnerable to being charged in the side by my Blood Knights. You can see the Blood Knights coming down the hill, trying to screen out the the, uh, the uh, <clears throat> Black Coach here and spring it loose. Meanwhile, Teclis is a little bit uh, caught out of position uh, over here. He got surrounded by zombies, which means that uh, on foot especially, he's not going to have the mask to pull out of this engagement. So a little bit rough for Teclis. You can see the uh, Mortis Engine pushing through getting a nice drain on this pocket here. The Blood Knights had also charged in. Ever Queen's Court Guards just completely wrapped up at this point, so they're going to try and pull back and get re-secured. But uh, that 
The vampires just uh, inundating the back line so heavily now <clears throat> that it's going to be tough. You know, the High Elves are going to have a rough time resecuring their, their missile units here, and it's going to be very important to do so. You can see the Mortis Engine is still relatively healthy, Corpse Cart still healthy, uh, the Blood Knights and the Black Coach and Manfred going to pull up and away from that engagement that we were, we were taking down there, just because there's a lot of supporting infantry for the High Elves, and we weren't getting that much damage done on the Fireborn at the end of the day. But uh, instead... We're just going to pull back, get a little bit of healing done, and then uh, when the uh, Fireborn come through to try and take out the Mortis Engine, we're again going to counter charge with the Blood Knights here. Uh, just getting some really nice damage done, and this time without as much infantry support, we're going to be able to get a lot of damage done on the uh, <clears throat> on the Dragon Princes there. We also dropped an Overcast, Dance Macabre, just so that as the charge bonus wears off, the Blood Knights will still be able to make solid contact with the, the Fireborn there. But uh, you can see the uh, archers have been resecured up on the hill. Going to be firing at the mortis engine, which is obviously priority target number one. Um, not currently in melee, so it's not currently draining. But uh, you can see the fireborn there actually get terrified away. And I didn't quite catch it, but uh, poor Teclis here just got absolutely destroyed by Manfred. So Manfred came over to sacrifice Teclis with the Sword of Unholy Power to uh, get some more magic, and then he's going to run over to support the Blood Knights over in this pocket, who are fighting the Heralds of the Wind, trying to finish them off, and yeah, with the loss of Teclis, especially that loss of magic and healing and everything, it's going to be GG for my opponent, more of just a formality at this point, going to summon up some zombies here just to make sure the Heralds can't escape, and uh, drop another uh, invocation, yep, another invocation just to heal up all the troops in this pocket here, and at this point you can see a lot of the High Elf forces getting terrified away by the, uh, the Black Coach and others, <coughs> zombies just too many zombies on the field, and I find that zombies are actually a really good unit against the High Elves, just because they have they have a little bit of trouble cutting through chaff very, very quickly. Really, their only their only response to be able to get through chaff quickly, or one of their only responses, I should say, is shock units like uh, like Dragon Princes, of course. But because the the vampires have very good anti cavalry tools, especially Blood Knights. Uh, they can definitely respond to mobility in such a way that, uh, <clears throat> yeah, it's going to be tough to take out zombies quickly, and they'll just, they'll just, uh, you know, they, they won't get a lot of kills, but they'll just inundate you, they'll drag you down, they'll take your vigor away, and uh, just in general wear you out and hold you in place so that the elite vampire units can get the work done. You can see the Mortis Engine cleaning up some kills here, Manfred and the rest chasing off the last of the High Elf forces. So it will be victory for the Vampire Counts once again, and I definitely feel that the Vampire Counts are one of the stronger factions right now. <clears throat> they definitely reclaimed their place of dominance in the top tier. I wouldn't say that they're necessarily number one, but uh, they're definitely incredibly strong with Blood Knights finally being what they should be. Uh, they've got the Terror Guys, so the, the Black Coach is a really good option right now, very cost-effective Chariot. Um, with the terror and the armor piercing and excellent impact damage for only a th what is it a thousand one hundred points? I mean that's less than a unit of Reichsguard. So I mean just super cost effective, super super cost effective. Uh, the Mortis Engine, of course, if you can keep it alive, will be cost effective pretty much no matter what. And Manfred, also an absolute MVP there uh, for my opponent. The build honestly wasn't terrible. Uh, you guys know I'm not the biggest fan of infantry skirmishers against the vampire counts, and this is a, yet another replay kind of showcasing why. So if you were to cut these guys down and go with more of a cavalry focus, I think that would be beneficial. Uh, you'd have the extra cavalry to, say, bog down the black coach, or even taking like a noble on a horse to help fight the black coach or the mortis engine. Obviously, you want to protect Teclis a little better. Better. That was a, definitely a mistake by my opponent, letting him get caught out like that. But um, yeah, Teclis, uh, honestly not a bad choice here. Definitely gives you some nice utility spells and lots and lots of wins magic. And he's relatively cheap as well. Spearman, always a solid choice. I'm not the biggest fan of White Lions. Um, I think you could probably find better use of funds for that. Like, say, maybe bringing more Illyrian Reaver archers. Um, they can shoot in and stay at a distance. And they also have the combat stats to beat down something like Dire Wolves. So, yeah, if you were to cut those three White Lions out for more, uh, you bring three more Illyrian Reaver archers. It'll give you some more skirmish pressure. And that will also allow you to cut the infantry skirmishers here and go with maybe like some Phoenix Guard, more Dragon Princes, even a Dragon or two would be very beneficial in this particular matchup. But uh, let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments down below. I, I mean, I know it's a common perception that the High Elves have the advantage in this matchup. 
So if that's the case, you know, what kind of builds would you guys say that the High Elves would take that would give the Vampire Counts a hard time? I mean, dragons certainly, they give Terror Guys a tough time, at least the High Elf dragons do, because they all have fire damage. Um, <clears throat> just in general, the High Elves have a lot of access to fire damage, so uh, let's see here. Now, I haven't tried something like the Handmaiden to see if she's any good here, but I just feel like the Handmaiden in general isn't that good of a hero. Um, Teclis, pretty solid pick. Uh, Alario can also be a pretty solid pick. Uh, if you take her up in the air with Tempest and you're expecting like a Terror Geist type build, um, you can definitely pull your opponent out of the air with that. Um, granted, she's a bit more expensive than Teclis, but uh, yeah, if you take Teclis, I would pretty much always recommend taking him on the horse. Uh, just for uh, mobility's sake. And then in terms of his abilities here, I pretty much always cut Bound of Fire Convocation just because it doesn't ever seem to be worthwhile. Although, against a big horde of zombies, it may be helpful here. So, uh, may consider that, but definitely want to keep the Kindle Flame. Uh, Net of Amantok is something I may consider here as well. Techless Spell Loadout, man, it's always ha so hard to choose spells. But the Flock of Doom will cut. I'm going to keep Enfeebling Foe, Regrowth, and Flaming Sword of Ruin. And then for the rest of the army, Fireborn, definitely a solid pick. We're also going to grab the Heralds of the Wind and the three other units of Reaver Archers. Uh, maybe one more unit of Dragon Princes here. We can grab some Spearmen to help hold the line. Uh, Phoenix Guard probably honestly wouldn't be a terrible pick here with their elite anti-large AP. And now we've got 800 points left. Um, not quite enough for something like the Shadow Warriors, but... Maybe we grab, like, Tyrannoch Chariot to help clear out Chaff, or some more anti-large tools would be pretty nice, uh, honestly. So, um, we're not quite where we need to be to get a Noble on a horse here, so we would need to cut down something. <clears throat> you know, the Fireborn, cutting them down, the fire damage and the anti-large is just so good here um, that it would be it would be tough a tough prospect to try and cut them. So, mm, hmm... Maybe we cut down the Heralds of the Wind as much as I hate to, because they are so good. Uh, just cut them down to a regular Reaver Archer. Something like this I think could be pretty decent, but let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments down below. Uh, again, dragons, super solid here. All of them have fire damage, and just especially the Star Dragon, because it's such a meat bag. It has so much health, it's pretty tough for the Vampire Council to take down. But let me know what you guys think. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you do like this sort of content, be sure to like, subscribe, hit that bell notification button, so every time I upload a new video, you'll be notified. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.